New at 530, a Central Florida man who contracted COVID-19 last winter is finally back home. He just spent the last five months in the hospital. Tonight, he is urging others to take this virus seriously. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest joins us live from the newsroom now. And Mike, this COVID patient has been going through physical therapy. Ginger, he still has some trouble walking, but says it's getting better. Lloyd Gerald did have a pre-existing medical condition, but he says he never expected COVID-19 to wipe out nearly half a year of his life. Hello. News 6 was there as Lloyd Gerald headed home from Encompass Health Rehabilitation Hospital in Ocala, where he spent the past few weeks trying to get his strength back. My lungs felt like they were on fire. I honestly wanted just to give up because it, it, the pain was so bad. In February, doctors diagnosed the 38 year old with COVID-19 and pneumonia. After the first few days, uh, I don't remember anything after that until April when they actually fully woke me up. Gerald says he spent more than three months on a life support machine after suffering heart, kidney and gallbladder failure. When I woke up, I couldn't really move a lot. Couldn't rotate, couldn't do anything on my own. My hands shook really bad. Gerald, who says he previously suffered from nerve damage, was barely able to walk when he finally left the intensive care unit. And then when I got here to do physical therapy, uh, the first day I could only walk five feet. Since then, Gerald's physical therapist says he's made incredible progress. After COVID, um, the endurance is affected like, like big time and the strength too. So they're just very, very weak when they get here. I was one of the lucky ones, but there's people out there that's not so lucky. Although most COVID-19 patients do not spend months in the hospital like Gerald, he wants the community to know it is a possibility. Try to get more information on COVID. Don't just like, oh, my friend said COVID's not that bad. Tonight, Gerald recommends people get the COVID-19 vaccine, and he himself may eventually get it too once he's sure his immune system is back up and running. Ginger. Unbelievable. Mike, thank you.